Bell's palsy. The seventh cranial nerve is the facial nerve that comes from the brain and connects to the small muscles in the face. Each facial nerve connecting to the facial muscle comes through a small tunnel in the skull that lies under the ears. Their function is to help the facial muscles move during different facial expressions, such as smiling, frowning, closing eyes, moving lips and cheeks, lifting eyebrows, and even during conveying taste. If the seventh cranial nerve fails to function properly, the facial muscles may suddenly weaken or get paralyzed, temporarily leading to a medical condition known as Bell's palsy. Mostly only one side of the face gets affected in this condition, but it is possible to happen on both sides too, although it's extremely rare. The real cause of Bell's palsy is not certain, but lately it is considered to be due to an autoimmune disorder that causes the facial nerves to swell, or due to a viral infection that causes muscle weakness and paralysis. The leading cause of Bell's palsy may be shingles and the herpes simplex virus 1 that results in mouth infections like colds. Other viral causes of Bell's palsy can be cytomegaly virus that causes herpes, Coxsackie virus that causes diseases of the mouth, hands, and foot. Viruses that are responsible for influenza, rubella, mumps, and mononucleus, and viral infections that lead to inflammation. If there is inflammation around the facial nerves, it can press on the nerves, causing them to completely or partially stop working. When the nerve stops functioning, the muscles associated with them also stop working. Hence, the facial muscles are weakened or paralyzed temporarily until the inflammation goes away and the nerves start functioning again. Signs and Symptoms Signs and symptoms of Bell's palsy appear suddenly, and they include a heavy or numb feeling on the face, facial droop and difficulty in moving facial muscles during smiling and closing eyes, sudden weakness or total paralysis on one side of the face occurring within hours to days, a reduced taste sensation, drooling, changes in the amount of saliva and tears produced, high sensitivity to sound on the affected side, a slight amount of pain in the ear or around the jaw on the affected side, and headache. Although it's rare, Bell's palsy can occur on both sides of the face too. The signs and symptoms of the disease show up suddenly, but in a few days they intensify gradually. However, it's not progressive. It is steady paralysis that develops over a few days and declines within a few weeks, sometimes months. In which case, there is no more signs of Bell's palsy. Diagnosis The diagnosis of Bell's palsy relies on the signs and symptoms. Isn't any particular test to detect this disease yet. Usually the patient's physical conditions is closely examined by the doctor. To do this, certain tests such as MRIs, X-rays, and blood tests may also be used to obtain more information and rule out other diseases causing similar symptoms. Once the doctor is certain that the signs and symptoms are not caused by any other conditions, such as trauma, tumor, bone fracture, stroke, or Lyme disease, then he will confirm the facial paralysis to be due to Bell's palsy. Treatment. Usually Bell's palsy patients can recover completely within nine months without any treatment. But to ensure proper and complete recovery, it is recommended to use medical treatments, which include certain medications, such as prednisone, that is used to reduce inflammation, antiviral drugs, which can be effective when used together with prednisone, but it isn't considered effective being taken alone. Eye protection can also be used. If the patient is unable to close their eyes or blink, the tears and moisture of the eyes evaporate, making them dry and sensitive. It also makes the eyes prone to infections. It is advised to use eye protection as instructed by the doctor until the eye muscles and tear production returns to normal. Protective measures may include eye drops to lubricate the eyes during the day and ointments to lubricate the eyes at night. Googles are eye pads to protect the eyes, which is a way to help close the eyes during sleepiness if the facial weakness does not recover. Googles are eye pad to protect the eye. This is a way to close the eyes during sleeping if the facial weakness does not recover completely, which is very rare, but then the patient may require extended treatment. That can include facial retraining, 
which is a facial physiotherapy series that helps strengthen the facial muscles and enhance their range of movement and coordination. Botox or botulinum toxin injections to control any abnormal muscle movements or to help relax any muscles that have become tight. Plastic surgery can also be done. Although it does not alter nerve function, it can improve facial appearance. Complications Bell's palsy can lead to several complications based on the severity of the nerve damage. About 1% of Bell's palsy patients have paralysis or muscle weakness on both sides of the face. Those patients and persons who are older than 60 years of age may not recover fully, leaving them with symptoms such as impaired taste sensation, asymmetrical smile, drooling from the corner of the paralyzed mouth, paralysis in the nostril area, dry eye, corneal damage, abnormal blinking, hyperkosis that is louder than it actually is, and buccinator paralysis, in which food gets stuck in the paralyzed cheek, sinkiness, in which voluntary movements are accompanied by involuntary movements. Around 80% of Bell's palsy patients recover within weeks to months, and others improve with time. In rare cases, the most serious complications that can occur in Bell's palsy is mild but permanent facial paralysis. Okay guys, stay tuned to the channel. We will be uploading nursing exam or NCLEX style questions related to Bell's palsy.